Greetings everyone and welcome back to Rimworld and of course to the colony of Stygian Sanctuary where apparently we have our um, generators turned on. We don't really need those turned on not at this point. I think we were going through a bit of a an eclipse that caused us a little bit of worry. Um, I think generally speaking, yes, everything is going quite well. I must confess, quite, quite well. So I don't think we have to worry about this too much. Katie is still wandering around. Uh, it's got malnutrition at the moment. You know what, Katie? Uh, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll make you a bionic leg. I was considering just giving you a peg leg, frankly, but uh, we're too good to you, frankly. We are far too good. Now, over here, we've got quite a bit of meat, lots of pemmican, Honestly, I'm starting to think that maybe all we should do really is drop by, grab some some noms, and then move on. Hmm. I think Dark Ava, could you fuel this for me? This way, you should be able to make some pemmican or cook some simple meals. Either one will do. Frankly, it looks like you're going to be focusing on the meals for now. That's fine. If Kaya can wipe out a couple more animals, though. That being said, I think this meat would be enough for Yoko. Hmm. You know what? Shall we shall we experiment with that? I think we shall. I think we're going to launch the caravan right away. We've we've got a couple of small animals because if that is the all we're going to need to do because a lot of people are like, "Well, how do you have so much pemmican if you'd run out of food?" Uh, it wasn't specifically that the whole caravan had run out of food, merely that one person in the caravan could no longer get food. And that, of course, was Yoko. Now then, let's go ahead and form a caravan. Of course, we're going to be bringing everyone along with us and pretty much all of the thi Oh, can we not just bring along the, the meat? Ah, why is that? Why can we not bring along the meat? Hmm. That is not good. Not even in the slightest way, right? I would like to delete that one. Could you please prioritize hauling the meat? Perhaps that is the problem. We just need to get everything hauled out and put in its correct place. Hopefully we can get all of that going. We will see in just a moment. We've got a couple more trees to chop here and there. Of course we want the plant pots. There we are. Um, so it looks like you're going to be here for a while. Dark Havoc thinks that you should give this community a name. Streamborn. Uh, I guess that isn't terrible. And you know what? Since it's such a temporary colony, we will be leaving it very soon. Sure, I'll allow that to stand. Uh, could we possibly get more of this cleared up, though? Well done, Kaya. In fact, you can bring in that fox if you would like. There we go. Let's get all of this cleared up. Oh, that's wonderful. Marvellous. In fact, there we are. Let's get it all cleaned, put into storage, and then hopefully we can start our caravan immediately following that. Let's get the... Uh, uh, no, go ahead and, and hold that for me as well. Thank you. Right. Now, let's go and experiment and see if this will work. Will it now allow us to carry the meat with us? Ah, oh, thank goodness, yes it will. It won't last for particularly long. The number of days this item starts to rot based on the average temperature in this area. Yeah. Now, what I'm wondering is if perhaps based on... Like that one won't rot at all. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm wondering if, if perhaps based on the amount of... Uh, temperature in an area when you set out if it doesn't recheck it every day perhaps that's why suddenly we would lose so much food it's because it should have rotted a little while ago but when you left it was below freezing so it just set that as the rot timer and it's only when the caravan stops in some capacity does it then check oh actually yeah it's all it's all messed up let's not bring that along could be could be in which case well fair enough then I guess uh, right, I think we have pretty much everything we need. In fact, let's not take any of that. Let's bring... Can we bring the corpse? We cannot. 
Well, we don't need the steel. Let's let's be honest. Let's take all the steel down. There we are, and we'll just bring as much of it as we possibly can. Right, the direction we want to leave is directly to the well, sure, northeast is fine. And let's accept. There we are. So they'll pop out on that point there. Minor break risk. Flurgles isn't particularly happy. What's up, Flurgles? Urgently hungry. Well, then go and get some food. There you go. Sorted. How's Katie doing? Starving. Yeah, that's gonna happen, Katie. I mean, you're wandering around in, in, in some sort of stupor. I, I'm not really sure what else, else I can do. Load medicine? Are you serious? How could we possibly have load medicine? Uh, okay, caravan. Oh, of course. Caravan was uh, was preparing. Oops, we went in the wrong direction. We went to the northeast. <laughs> Meant to go to the northwest. And I'm not even going to say that that was, that was just a misclick on my part. No, I was thinking that this was the east. I don't. Left and right. You see, east and west. Always get them confused. Okay, right. Well, let's continue on our way. We want to be over there at some point in the near future. Really, going up through here is faster than going through the channel. Hmm. I wouldn't have thought so. Very well. We've got... Uh, the, the food will rot in zero days. Hmm. That's not great. Uh, I think that is the carcass, though. So we'll, we'll see on that one. And we're going to abandon this little settlement. There we go. Be on your way. Marvellous. Right, let's go and have a look at how things are going down here. Going quite well, I must say. Colonist needs rescue. Yes, he does indeed. Thank you very much. Now, hopefully we can get him fed. Uh, of course, I could have gone out there and knock, knocked him out and then carried him off, but... Uh, We'll see. Could you please go and feed KD? Because that's pr pretty much the primary concern, is, is food. Once he's fed, his severe malnutrition will start to decrease. Okay, hopefully, at any rate. We'll see. There we go. Yeah, it's starting to go down. His hunger is going to be a, a extreme for a little while. That's one of the side effects of being malnourished. KD, why are you up and about? Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, hopefully you get some good um, uh, clothing put on and then promptly go and get yourself some noms. Or rest, I guess. You know, that, that also works. You could do with more food, though. I'm going to be honest with you. And we've got a book. Good caravan. From the Democratic Dominion of East Yoin. They are approaching. They are a book. Good trader. They will hang around the colony for a few days before leaving. The town guard is the lover of Pirate Hughes. Town Guard Ektek. Okay. Uh, who is Ektek? Because it's going to be a lot faster for us to... There we are. To find out who Hughes is. Uh, Gonzo Hughes. Uh, oh! Oh! Uh, oh! Ah! They don't need to know. What they don't know? Won't hurt us. Or them. Good times. <laughs> oh, my lord. Uh, plenty of meat out there. Do we need it? No, we're, st we're still butchering the Megatherium. There is no reason for us to, to go out and butcher anything else for quite some time, I think. Atlas, would you mind going and having a quick chat? There we go. Uh, right. We'll buy all of your chocolate, sure. I could buy your your wolf meat, at the very least. I'm not going to buy wag meat on principle. We could sell ridiculous amounts of food. If we particularly wanted to. Do we want to is the question. I wouldn't mind all your Nutramine. We might, actually. Uh, I wouldn't mind all the components either, because you're offering them at quite a, a reasonable price today. Uh, we could sell five Yayo. We'll go for that, sure. I could buy a load of steel. There is absolutely no reason to. Uh, we can, however, get rid of all of these threadbare pieces of clothing. We don't have too many particularly bad quality pieces of clothing anymore, so generally speaking, even, even ones down at 50% still carry quite a hefty price. Uh, Al-Qaeda cowboy hats. We could sell those, I suppose. 
Uh, I think... All right, well, we're going to sell a bit of the corn that we've got. We'll sell 1,000 of it. Oops. 1,000. That brings down the price a little bit, but not as much as I'd want. How about 847 of the rice? There we go. And we'll change this to 164. And 350 of the potatoes. This way, we're only paying a fairly small amount at that point. We could sell some mega sloth wool if we want to do. Or wool cloth, in fact. That actually carries quite a... A hefty price, sure. Okay, we'll make a little bit of extra money as well. Uh, Muffalo leather, sure, we'll get rid of you. And the fox skins, raccoon leather and rat leather. That's fine. Okay, let's trade. Marvellous. Fair bit of money there as well as the chocolate. I'm sure our colonists will be extremely pleased with getting a bit of chocolate there. I can only imagine this is going to uh, raise their spirits quite a lot. How's everything else going? We've got plenty of hops in there. Generally speaking, there's plenty of work to be done, and hopefully we will be able to get that done sooner rather than later. Uh, days of food, 23.5. Rotten, zero days. That's fine. You just keep on the way. They've actually made quite a bit of progress. Current tile movement time, they cover an entire time in an hour and um, the base movement time is 0 0.46 uh, hours per tile currently for us is 0 0.96 now that's a little bit of a uh, a shame honestly right synthetic heart has been made absolutely wonderful synthetic heart joy wire ai chip bionic animal lung animal liver okay have we set up more of the components that we made yes we have good times are these unfortunately with so many components the mod which means that our colonists simply need to maintain the components it is a double-edged sword a lot of time is spent managing and maintaining all of our various components it is it actually takes quite quite a lot of our workforce out of the equation for quite a lot of the time which is a bit of a shame i'll be honest with you Right, what we would like down here is, where have we got the moisture pump? Let's get the moisture pump right about there, and that will finish off that whole area for us. It'll take a little bit of time, but it's fine. Right, how about our underground scanner? We've checked there, all we've got is steel. Got a couple of other spots here and there. We could look in here, and it probably is worth it. We've checked these spots. They're all steel, unfortunately. Including this one. But these ones, we haven't had a look at yet. Uh, that's actually green light. Never mind. I'm a being a derp. Right, okay. We'll pop that down here. We'll also find out what's... Mm, sure, we'll place it right there in the middle. And we'll place one down here, too. Hopefully, we will eventually find some plasteel. It's going to be out here somewhere. At some point, we'll discover it. Oh, wow. Fedon, Prime Counselor of the Democratic Dominion of East Yon, has sent us a message. They've learned that a collection of valuable items has been left for the taking. Not far from us. A new, several new rotations. Social, melee, social, animals, and artistic. That is extremely valuable. But uh, we are, our caravan is already very, very far away at this point. Got 10 days worth of food. And the, that, this will be the meat and it, its various stages of rotting. So let's have a look through here. Have we not got any meat? Oh, no, it's the, uh, that'll be the hair then. All of the, the, the meat that we had is gone. So the hair... We'll sustain Yoko for 10 days. You must be joking. Also, infestation. Where is it gone? No, wrong place. Why? Oh, that, that's annoying. Where else is it? Because that is not a big enough hive. Okay. All right. That does suck enormously. But very well. We can probably wipe out the the um, insects down here without too much trouble. Valerie, need you down there. Horror Story, need you down there. And Flurgles, 
right at the back. And Janna. Let's get you in here. I think this is a reasonable group at that point. Um, Janina, sure, you can you can pop in there. I'll be fine. We should be able to wipe them out without too much trouble in this room. We're not going to be able to attack the egg, though, unfortunately. The, the hive itself. Not just yet. Right, I want this door left open. So, Janet, step forward. And then... Uh, I would like you to then step back. Well, actually, I suppose it isn't terribly bad. My colonists are unlikely to do too much damage to you, and they're very accurate at this point. Right, let's have a look. How badly hurt are you? Uh, that's a mild cut, but uh, it could be nasty. Right, over here is the problem. The moment we attack the hive, I think the, the whole group back there is going to aggress on us. Should we try it? I think we shall. Get in there and attack it. And we'll very quickly see how this goes. But I would like my whole group up here ready to hold this position. Go. It might be alright. We'll see. That hive is taking damage. And it looks like these ones do not care. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Alright, Atlas. Let's have a look at you. We'll go and grab you a weapon. You can have... Actually, go grab the Gladius down there. There we are. Uh, what's happening here? Animal starvation? How? What? Oh, there are so many. Oh, my goodness. We, we, we need to deal with that. Oh, my lord. Uh, yeah, surpri unsurprisingly, so many chicks. Um, I would like them to mature into chickens, but so many chicks. No, that is that is too much. They are actually starving. There are that many. Considering how strong our colony is, that is crazy. We're okay, we should uh, be able to sort that out a little bit. Uh, okay, all right, the rest of you are good to go. Sad wanderer, really? Uh... Okay. That's not great. I'll be honest with you. Especially not because you're going through... Oh, no, this is an asphalt road. It's not a tunnel. Ah, of course. Right, okay. Well, I suppose it's not terrible. But we'll be back to you shortly. Well done there. Let's get all of that sorted. Gonna need you up top. Yes, they've, they've, they've massively aggressed. Due to the fact that the hive has been damaged. So I'm just going to rely on you to do a lot of damage there. Well done. Keep up all of the damage, all of the time. There we go, Isabel. Get in there. Thank you. Thank you very much for the help. And Yumiko, rushing to the aid of the colonists. Well done. You do not wear shields, though. I, I fear that we may be about to lose some of our huskies. It makes me very sad, but their, their heroic sacrifice will be honored with a beautiful tomb. Oh, Wolfgang is rushed, rushed in as well. Brave Wolfgang. Super brave. Bravest of the brave Wolfgang. Wolfgang gang has been slain. Makes me sad. But, uh, well, what can you do? Uh, right, okay. You're all free to go. Get down there. Start destroying them. Actually, you're not all free to go. Flurgles, finish eating your food. Oh, or not, I guess. All right. Get over there. I want you to start destroying things fast as you can, please. Uh, so many, so many slain. No, Cassandra. No, Pat. Naughty. Naughty Cassandra. Very naughty. Could you please tend to the uh, slain works? Flugels, can you get through? Uh, okay, there we go. You know what? Sure. Both of you just melee it. It's fine. Together, you're going to be able to handle this so much better. Really? I'm not sure that you're actually hitting it right now. I kind of feel that you're, you're failing to destroy the hive in the way that I had hoped. And if you could finish that one off as well. There we are. You're free to go about your business. Also, bring in all of that goodness. Uh, same down there, actually. That is such a potch. 
Very, very uh, frustrating, that one. But, oh, well, I suppose there's not much we can do. Right. Uh, unfortunately, it appears... No, Wolfgang is still there. <gasps> Marvellous. Let's, let's quickly get you buried. Uh, open this up. Animal corpses. Yes. Wilson. Actually, Flurgles. Flurgles, you have the best. Uh, can we... No, no, don't consume the husky corpse. What? What kind of monster are you? Can... Will someone... Oh, you don't ever do hauling. That's just annoying. Uh, okay, perhaps you don't as well. Horror story? There we go. Please bury Wolfgang before anything else eats him. Uh, right, okay, let's have a quick look. Uh, well done. Art is excellent. Orange Husky. The sarcophagus is engraved with an illustration of a mega spider brutally murdering a husky with cold efficiency. The mega spider is barring her teeth. The photographic style of the central scene clashes with the purest depiction of the background. The scene seems to take place on the outskirts of a township. The image tells the story of the killing of the husky. Rip Wolfgang. Rip Wolfgang. Uh, right, if someone could perhaps finish off the Mega Spider so it never wakes up again, that would be great. There we are. How have our huskies done? Right rear paw cut off. Bless you. Right eye cut out. Tail bitten off. We will get these things fixed. I promise. Uh, do we actually have an animal leg? No, lung and liver. So much meat. Okay, well, we definitely need that to be hauled. Could we get all of that hold? That'd be great, thanks. Stream break, Katie. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit better now that you've had some noms. I imagine you were pretty messed up before. Okay, let's go and check on... Yeah, 1.9 days worth of food still. They are making some crazy good progress. All the way from down there. Wow. Oh, I'm starting to wonder if... It's only going to take them 4.1 days to get to where they're going. How about if we sent you there? 0 0.7 days. 1.1, 1.8. No, let's not, let's not push it. Let's stop on the road. Once you arrive at that destination, we'll take care of things. How are you feeling? Uh, you're still cut from a mega spider. Can you go and rest for a while? Hopefully Rhapsody will be able to tend you. There you go. You please go and tend them as well. There we are. That'll do. So why you go all the way in there to get medicine when there's plenty right here? I have no idea, but uh, oh well. How, how are things? Are you all patched up? Yes. Okay. Good times are these. Now, we haven't built that yet. We have built this one. Resource below. Steel. Of course. Of course it's steel. As well, uranium. Ooh, now that one is something that we care about. That one is definitely something we care about. Uh, right, shut these ones down. They don't need to be active. But that uranium one, we were growing our food on uranium. Wow. Wow. Uh, specifically, we were growing our beer, our hops on uranium. So, effectively, this was the, uh, the beer equivalent of Nuka-Cola. In my mind, that's what was going on there. I think that's glorious. Hopefully we can get all of this food moved, though, because that's going to be pretty awful, actually. Uh, you know what? We're actually right on top of a river. Sure. Let's uh, actually bed down for the evening. There we go. Let's get you guys all settled in. Ah, good times. The snow here is deteriorating, yes. Yoko, how are you doing for food? Mm. You need some food pretty quickly. This is glorious, though. Dark Avak, provide for your Yoko. Kaya, I'm really happy that you're, you're not really unhappy anymore. Uh, all right. Well, we're going to want to spend an evening here, so get these trees chopped quick as you like. There we go. There you go. Uh, Dark Avak, could you finish it off? Thank you. That is no longer forbidden. In Dark Havoc, you can tend to your own wounds. Maybe. You are actually bleeding from it, Dark Havoc. Oh, well. Seems that the uh, the scent of fresh blood is is perfectly fine for Dark Havoc, even if it's his own. Right, okay, let's get all of that sorted. 
And as soon as we've got a few trees, if we can chop that down, then I can at the very least designate the structures to be built. All I want is a simple little area. And yes, I'm going to put a door there because it's a road and I don't want to be a complete jerk and like block the road. But there we are. This will be a little storage stockpile. There we are. And everything will hopefully be hauled before too terribly long. We will plonk down a door there. Get two beds in here as well. Might as well. There we are. We're not going to be here very long, but we can hopefully get uh, this all sorted. Alright, we've got a bunch of boomalope down there. Alright, we've got ancient concrete barriers. Ancient concrete lampposts. Wow. Okay, really? Here? I mean, I'm not against it, but it's not quite what I was expecting. Fair enough. Right, let's make sure that we've got some wildlife to hunt. The alpaca shall be hunted. Uh, the broom rat, definitely not. M many hares. Let's go for those. Honestly, we might just end up... Mm, I've got quite a lot of food. We're probably going to be leaving. Probably before any of this gets set up. If I'm perfectly honest. Alright. Uh, thank you very much, Yoko. Thank you very, very much. Kaya, might you be able to have a quick chat? We'll see what they have to, to trade. Um, we could buy an Arctic Fox. No, I think we're good. Thank you. There's nothing here that we really want. Okay, well, it was, it was worth checking out at the very least. Alright, uh, let's go back and check how things are going. Isabel is fully healed. Excellent news. Excellent news. All of this is going to spoil in less than a day. Katie, would you prioritize hauling it all out of there? Thank you. Let's get it all moving. That's right. Just move it all around. Continue the haul. We really do need as much of this hauled as we possibly can. Could you also start moving it? There we are. Let's get all of this out. Oh my lord, I'm having to micromanage them hauling food out. Uh, that's a little bit of a pain in the bum, I'll be honest. But hopefully they can get it done quickly. There we go. The problem is they're getting a little bit distracted by hauling the leathers as well. So let's just uh, turn those off, just to make sure that people focus on hauling the actual meat. What? I just said not... No, oh, maybe I missed something. Flurkles, will you help? You do not. You never help with that kind of work. Uh, Janina, it's up to you then. Uh-oh. Mental State Berserk. <sighs> Katie, this is going to go badly for you. Wilson, you have my permission. Uh, well, I mean, at the very least, he's lost his shield. KD, I'm not going to stop them from killing you. This has to stop. Hopefully it doesn't end with you being dead. I'm not even going to force them to take care of you. I mean, frankly, I'm not sure you deserve it. What a scoundrel. Right, okay. Hopefully Kaya will be able to take care of the hunting. Um, sure, Dark Havoc, you can go out and hunt whenever you get the chance. We just need a couple of animals brought in. Honestly, we're not even going to worry about the uh, the corpses, really. Oh, we've already got a couple. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Yoko's just chilling out, enjoying herself. Good times. Don't need all of that at all. Let's get all of that sorted. In fact, I wonder, if we left with this much food, how long would it say that we have for that? Dead for less than day, spoils in one day. That's going to be the case with most of the food. Hmm. You know what? Sure. Let's immediately form a caravan and head out. We only needed to gather... Ah, there, there is the problem. We need to make sure that this is all being stored in the correct place. This should not accept corpses, and this should. All corpses. And I would like these items to be moved at a high priority. Not those ones, though. Hopefully we can get all of those in, and then we can set off. Here we are, where's Dune? Dune? Ah, oh, my lord. I was a little bit worried about that. 
All right, let's see if we can head out with the corpses along with. They might have actually even been on the screen before. All uh, right, we don't need the wood, certainly not. That is a little bit too much weight. Hmm. See, therein is the problem. Corpses are, are heavy things, whereas just bits of meat, not so. Uh, is our pemmican not loaded? Oh, oh my lord. Ah, yes, of course. Okay, well, seems that we're going to need to do a little bit of work, no matter what. Let's get all of that stored in there. And I'm going to build a butcher table. Quickly have it butcher the the animals. It'll be a little bit easier to get everything set up that way. There we go. Kaya's getting a little bit more. Um, slain hares, no doubt. Have we got much in the way of... No, we've got seven herbal medicine. It's going to spoil before too long, though. At least we've got regular medicine to tide us over. It might be worth our time just getting a little bit of harvesting done as well, then. So, let's grab that. See if there are any berries. Yeah, actually, there's quite a few. That's not bad at all. All right. We'll grab a few extra things. There we go. Let's uh, ensure that we're butchering all the creatures forever. There we go. I'm not going to worry too much about the campfire and making pumpkin. I don't think we... Oh. No. No, don't make me kill Labrador Retrievers. Why? Why would you even do this? Dark Alvac does not approve. Uh, <sighs> scallywags. Oh, well, we need a larger storage area, it seems. Uh, let's get all of that set up, then. Scallywags. Also, pop this in there. Make sure it's set up to accept corpses. There we go. Right. Well, if we are doing that, then I suppose it isn't going to be terrible for us to set up a quick fueled stove as well. We can uh, make some pemmican that way. All right. I'm not completely against this idea. Let's not grab all of that. We, we absolutely don't need that much. There we go. The only problem is things are going to start spoiling in here in the reasonably near future. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure with this passive cooler. I'm really not sure about that. All right, Kaya, at the very least, I'm going to need you up top. All right, you're good. You're bringing that over. Marvelous. We might actually find that uh, the enemy don't... Oh, well, <laughs> the the retrievers don't get into any any big trouble. All right. Dune, you're actually in a fairly safe spot. All right. Dark Avak, like you over there. Go. And Yoko's already gone. Like, Yoko's like, no! Gonna kill you all. I, you know, I just don't see any point in getting involved. What? Learn to aim! Oh, left eye. It's got a burn scar. I'm gonna have to replace that eye now. Ah, oh, my lord. Okay. Could you please tend to Yoko? Let's get some, uh, let's get some pet beds in there. Kaya, you're good. Let's go. Let's get everything sorted. These can be finished off. Alright, Dark Havoc, could you please... Oh. Can you not Tend to Yoko, or have you already... Oh, of course, you've, you've already tended to Yoko. How could I have doubted? There we are. At the very least, we've got all of the animals butchered. Or most of them. N wow, none of them were actually finished off. That's actually remarkably remarkably sad. But, at the very least, you're managing to get all of the uh, room built very quickly. I approve of that enormously. And we've got all of our belongings inside. Though it's very interesting that uh, these items don't count unless we have a... Um, unless we've got them in a stockpile. Very, very interesting. Right, can you make pemmican? Forever for now. Because I'm fairly certain we're going to run out of berries long before we run out of meat. There we go, that could be hauled. Right, okay. Let's go and check how things are going. Dark Amok does not need a ranged weapon. No, no, no. 
Dark Avak will be a fine hunter without one. Uh, right, yeah, just recovering from a bruise. Uh, mad animals, or rat. That, that's fine. They're gonna kill themselves. They probably won't kill themselves on those traps, but there's nothing they can do in here. Has that? Uh, have the rats decided against their their plan of action? I mean, rats are smart. I mean, apparently not that smart, I guess. But uh, all right, you coming in as well? Yes, you are. Okay, that's fine. I mean, the fact that we don't have to turn our weapons off just means that, that, that there's no, nothing that can save them in this area. They will flat out just die. Anything that wants to attack us. They'll just march to their own doom. Right. Okay, how's things going over here? Eh, not, not great. We're not getting too much done there. Where's the next one that we're going to have a peek at? Oh, oh my. I already have that one set up. My bad. Let me break that one down. Uh, right. We're going to want to find out about you. And if we can, about you. Honestly, I strongly suspect that... That just looks ridiculous. But sure. Uh, we'll pop that there. And we'll run some power down to it as well. There we go. We might be lucky. Um, that might be plasteel. I don't think that could be. It's far too small an area for it to be plasteel. But... Yes, our psychoid leaves are rotting away in storage, but that, again, that is another thing which is largely fine. Uh, horror story, would you mind working on the cam fuel refinery for now? Thank you. We've got an awful lot of things going on. Dark Havoc should hopefully fuel... Uh, the trade caravan is leaving. Fuel the cook stove, but uh, no, it seems I have to generally manually do that, which is quite annoying. There we go. We'll just top up our pemmican stores for the time being. There we are. And Katie's gone berserk. Once again, Katie, they will eventually break off all of your parts. All of them will be gone. It will be very sad. Okay, get in there, Atlas. Who are you going for? Really? Why? Why do you always pick on the puppies? You saw it. You saw KD avoid people who could eat. Well, actually, why, why am I surprised? KD avoided the people who could put him down in order to attack the, the, the puppy who couldn't. Actually, it makes perfect sense. There's no point in me even asking why. Uh, you, you ripped off her ear. You monster. I just don't even know. I mean, there's there's evil robot brains, and then there's just monsters. This is something far different. I don't think we can blame all of this on the AI, frankly. And the AI might just decide to, to be a massive jerk and try and kill all humans, but then there's attacking puppies. And these are two different things. Fairly certain even Skynet would be a little bit repulsed by KD's actions today. Okay. I think we've got a fairly solid amount of food here will just allow this to be made and there we are i think it is time now for us to head out so let's go ahead and ready the caravan so once again everyone is coming along and once again we're taking all of the food and actually some of it isn't going to spoil for quite some time which is really good to see we'll have 22.8 days worth of food but um, some of that food is going to rot within 1.2, and then 1.3, then 1.6, 1.9, and that's when we're going to have to stop. We still have a snow here. Uh, you know what? There's, there's no there's no point. There's really no point, I don't think. Uh, all right, we'll bring the silver, of course. We'll bring the components. Got a, a remarkable amount of leather, actually. Uh, we'll bring along the herbal medicine and the medicine. All right, and sure, we'll grab all of the leather we can, since we might be able to trade it somewhere. And the snow here corpse, I suppose, and steel. Well, wow, okay, so our caravan is actually getting very, very light now. And that might also be contributing to the, the speed by which it can leave. I think we're leaving to the southwest. I could be completely wrong. 
Uh, yes, I am, actually. That leads directly onto a mountain. I thought we were a little bit further along the road. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm not going to worry too much about it. That should all be sorted out pretty, pretty quickly there. How is this room? Still minus eight. Good. Everything is generally doing okay. Very, very warm in, in here, which means that all of the connected rooms should be good. What temperature is that balancing it up to? Uh, it's actually balancing it. Well, wow, what's the temperature outside? 23. Ah, okay. So it's a little bit due to that. KD, how's it going, mate? Uh, constantly constantly in, in acute pain. You were rebuffed by horror story because she she heard about the uh, the stories of your puppy slaughter. I I'm I'm sorry. You're gonna live a long life alone. I I actually feel incredibly sad for you because I mean there's no small amount of, of blame to be laid at my feet considering we stuck the evil robot inside your brain. But as we've already uh, as we've already discussed, can't blame all of that on the evil robot brain. Even evil robots have standards. Oh, ooh, chem fuel. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. What have we got down there? Jade. Huh, that's not too bad. Okay, let's jump to the location. Uh, it's going to take you forever to get in there, isn't it? Yep. Yes, it is. Okay, well, let's carry on our way. We want to be more or less right down there. Uh, in fact, that's, that's only going to take you 3.4 days. Very certain you won't make it, but let's... Zoom all the way out so I can send you on the correct path. Now, where is the correct path? There we go. We've actually already covered quite a quite a bit of distance. There we go. 29.1 days. That's all it will take, apparently. My goodness. Bit of a windy road, though. You're going to be going past quite a lot of places. The, the vast majority of this trip was just used up here. Oddly. I'm not quite sure I understand how that all works, frankly, but it it does. All right, we'll grab the dragon fruit. Very nice indeed. Oh, wait, we won't. We're not going to be grabbing the dragon fruit at all. Because this camp is abandoned. There we are. We're just leaving this long list of abandoned properties behind us. All right, let's go and check out how things are going. Valerie's doing okay. We've got loads of mega spiders as well at the moment, which isn't too terribly bad. Can we uh, hold that? At least put it somewhere where it's not going to spoil. If nothing else, let's just get that out of the way. Things are going okay there. How's this going? Honestly, I'm not sure that we are, in fact, drilling these down particularly efficiently. Let's uh, pop that one there and this one there. That should do. This one can simply be deconstructed, as can this one uh, at this point. There we are. Well done. We have almost got all of that steel sorted. We are not going to want for any any kind of uh, steel for the construction of the ship. It's just the shame that one of the most important things we just don't have. Could we perhaps get that sorted? Please and thank you. There we go. Okay, it's time for us to request a couple more traders. We desperately need someone to bring us some plasteel. So I'm just going to send out the call to our two friendly uh, neighbors and request bulk goods traders. Odds are they're not going to bring everything we need, uh, even close to it, but it'll be enough for now. We've got plenty going on in there. That's marvelous. We've got loads of food. Generally, things are going well, I think. I feel that things are pretty good overall. Uh, the caravan is making some pretty solid progress, actually. They're now moving into a boreal forest. There will be plenty of food there. I wish I could tell what type of temperature it was right now. Um, the average temperature is only 1.6 degrees. What was it like over there? 4.8, 5.6. Okay, and what about the summer temperature? Because we are currently right bang smack in the middle of summer. Eh, it's not terribly high. In fact, if we could just get down here into the tundra and then set off again from there, maybe with a we'd, we'd gather a, a caravan full of food right about here, move into the tundra, set up camp so that it would realize what the temperature was, and then set off again, we'd be able to make most of the way to our destination before I have to stop. It would be glorious. Uh, but we're probably not going to see that. Katie? Ah, uh, you're such a 
scoundrel. You really are. Manhunter pack of manhunting panthers. Oh no. Oh dear me. Let's have a quick look. An agile and powerful big cat native to the jungles of old earth. A solitary ambush predators. Panthers are masters of taking down both large and small prey. Onlookers tend to focus on their graceful movements, while those in close contact usually notice their skull-crushing strength. They are going to die. Every single one of them is going to die. And I'm not even going to feel bad. However, I will say, try and stay safe, everyone. The huskies, uh, I, I think for the most part, we're, we're going to be all right. Uh, we'll see. Panthers are likely going to head straight down here. Good couple of them are going to die on the way. Then, there we go. Let's slow things down. All the guns are going to fire. They're going to go down pretty quickly. Could you perhaps be up there behind this door? Actually, could you perhaps not even be out there anymore? Because those things are bloody fast, much like Yoko. Alright, you can pull back a little bit. Uh, Flurgles, I think you're going to need to wake up for this one. I'm sorry. Uh, same with Valerie, actually. Valerie, could you be over here? Wilson, too. Um, let's get you down there. The turret should be able to sort the panthers out before they can break through there, I'd imagine. Yeah. Those panthers really stood no no chance whatsoever. Are you manhunting, too? Really? Must you... Oh, my lord. Horror story. Why? Pull back. At the door closed. Oh, they actually did a breakthrough and attacked Horror Story while I wasn't paying attention. Wow. My bad. Uh, sure, Horror Story, Flurgles, Valerie, Wilson. Get through there, please. I think we're good, actually. Yeah, we are. Okay. Well then, let's make sure that uh, the things that are alive stop being that way. As soon as possible, please. Our defense is uh, at this point practically automated. All right, that panther is being finished off. There we go. Finish all of those panthers off, please. Well, we just got a huge amount of extra food. If nothing else, I actually need at this point to expand our stockpile. I had pulled it back, but uh, no, no, we are running out of room. So there we are. That should allow for the stocking of all of the extra corpses and set them up to be hauled as a matter of some urgency and let's check on you guys um yeah the food is gonna rot soon enough there we are but i think that's where we're gonna wrap this episode up a lot of progress is being made in our journey it's gonna take a little bit longer before we're ready but uh, we've fin uh managed to fuel all four of our pod launches so we should actually be able to to uh, launch quite a lot of stuff a reasonable way some of that is going to be survival package meals now one thing i am a little bit concerned about is really we don't have enough cooking going on so i am going to swap those around i'm gonna have rhapsody help out with cooking because katie just can't be trusted anymore and we need these things to be hauled. We need the food to be made so that we are getting the package survival meals as a priority. There we go. That should make things a lot faster. There we are. Perfect. And we've got a prosthesis trader nearby. Uh, sure, okay. Wilson, could you go and have a quick chat? See what they got to sell. Um, Glitter World Medicine. <sighs> yes, we'll take all three. That is good. That is very good. We can't sell anything to them. However, that is not so great. Uh, not that we've actually got that much to sell right now. Sure, we'll take just a Glitter World Medicine. Thank you. Because I do believe that uh, some of the items that we want require Glitter World Medicine. That one just requires Yayoi and Plasteel. But what was it that required Glitter World Medicine? Hmm. Not entirely sure. Either way, please haul that in somewhere where it will no longer be uh, deteriorating due to being unroofed. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is marvellous. Please don't use Glitter World Medicine on these people, though. That would be terrible. Uh, yeah, if you could. Thank you. Marvellous. All right. The colony is still going quite well. We have now got redonkulous amounts of meat once again. 
So hopefully we're going to be able to very quickly move forward to the point where we are producing more package survival meals. Now that will come once we've got 100 fine meals, 50 simple meals, and then we'll move on to making the package survival meals. And that should be perfect. Oh, Wilson is throwing party. Oh, what a lovely way to, to end the episode. Wilson is decided to throw a party in one of the uh, most lavish bedrooms in the entire colony, which is currently unowned. Fair enough. Uh, there's worse places you could throw a party, I suppose. But that's going to be it from me. I hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me in the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone. <laughs>